I asked the world what's wrong with being a virgin. Because I believe the mind is much worth exploring. Because I hold in my lust to wait for a relationship with trust. I get laughed at because I never had a woman's touch. Well, I don't see no laughter because sex is for reproduction, not just for pleasure. I'm young and I know one mistake can make me a father. See, I can barely take care of myself. So why would I give a woman my seed? Because when that seed sprouts and has to eat and feed, and my selfish lesson greed can leave my seed without its needs, a place not to call home, leaving my seed all alone, all because I want to less than bone? Having a good old time out there fornicating, even though it's hard out there just relying on masturbating. It's such more of a pleasure to have the ability to give back to my creation. To give my child food, wisdom, a place to live, knowledge. It'd be such a joy to give back to my kid, to look back at my goals and say, this is all what I did. To show you can accomplish for just having just a little willpower. I had the willpower to hold in my freaky ideas. And pornographic women, 20 women in the bedroom, all at one time, booty, booty, breast, breast, all in my face. All of these erotic thoughts. For you can have the ability. For I can give you to the world. Not just for things I bought, but for the things I provide, that money can't buy. The things that can be explained to you. Why the color of the sky? Because color waves and reflections and that your reflection of me lights in the sky. The sun is a light in the sky. The sun shines bright and lights up the world. So in terms you are my sun. For their world you are a reflection of me and therefore you light up my world. Well as far as I know you can be my daughter. It's unknown. But I hope to see you in the future. Because I want to be there for you. As your teacher. Your discipliner. Your provider. Your guider, your lover, your inspirer, your true admirer, 50% of your creation, your creator. But most of all, I want to be there for you as your loving, dear father. So that's a poem I wrote like two years ago. I decided to post it because I've been getting a lot of thumbs up and people commenting saying I'm a role model on some comments I wrote on um, YouTube. But I just want to say, I'm not a role model, I'm nothing special. I'm a normal human being just like you, just like Obama, just like the bum on the street, just like the guy, Kobe Bryant, whatever, LeBron James, just like all of us, human beings out this world trying to better themselves. So I want to say, yes, I'm 22 years old, I'm a virgin. It's no big deal at all. I had chances to sleep around with girls, you know. I've been on my own since I was 17 years old, so it's like, I had some experiences. Drunk chicks and stuff, girls coming over my apartment and stuff with their kids. I can easily, you know, as we was cuddling or spooning, easily just, you know, do something. Slide my hand in there, yeah, that's my sliding hand motion. Slide my hand and try to do something, but... Thing is, like, with me and so many other guys up there, you can call us good guys, whatever you want to call us. I don't believe in good or bad in people, but it's like I catch feelings so much and I can't just go out there and sleep around with 20 different women. Because I would call them up like real creepy to some people, but I'm just so much of a lover and I got so much love to give. I would call them like, You're my girlfriend. And just hang up. <laughs> I would be on some creepy stuff, like calling them, bugging them every day. Because I catch feelings just like that. And I'm not trying to go out there and have sex with 20 different women. Catching feelings with all these different women. And dealing with that drama. I can't deal. I can't juggle women. That's something I, I just know I can't do. So I'm not out there just having sex and stuff. I'm more of a lover than a luster, I say. And I just want to be able to provide for my kid whenever I do have this kid. I want to be out there and provide for him. Not just stuff I can buy, of course, you know, we want to give our kid the best in the world, but the best is not also a materialistic thing, you know, having the newest toy, newest clothes, and all this stuff. 
I want to give them a nice, it doesn't have to be a nice home, just a home period to go home to and feel safe. You know, away from the rain and snow and stuff. It's not even, people don't think about the simple stuff in life, basically. Food, water, and shelter, but I just give my kid that and just teach them some things in life. You know, we don't have to be super rich, we don't have to live wealthy, but teach them little things like the theory of relativity, Newton's laws and stuff. People are so much in providing, like, thinking these schools can provide the kids education, but it's their job, but it's what they're getting paid for, you know. Your job is a parent to teach your kid and help them grow up. Don't rely on the schools to make your kid a better individual or whatever, you know. It's you out there to teach your kid right from wrong. And you're also out there to teach your kid different stuff about education and stuff. You can't just rely on this school to teach your kid stuff, but that's a whole different subject. I want to be there for my kid, what I'm saying is, I don't want to have the baby mom drama and stuff. I don't want to be out there, you know, out there having sex and stuff. As this one dude would say, loving the Thundercat. And then next thing you know, this chick is pregnant, and I find out she's crazy and stuff. I'm going to be having a serious relationship, know this chick, notice the one who I want, Carry on my offspring. Know that she has the right mind. She's, you know, smart, educated and stuff. Pretty or something, you know. Have the qualities to bring it on my kid. Like, that's something special. A new life in the world. Life is beautiful. I don't want to just go out there and just do it with everyone. I know it's rare to just have kids, you know, at the first time you're having sex or whatever. But the thing is, it can happen. I'm not waiting for marriage or nothing like that. I can have sex probably maybe be in a serious relationship a month or maybe two years from now. And next thing you know, I'm not a virgin no more. The thing I'm trying to say is that it's no big deal being a virgin. I'm 22 years old. I never smoked. I drunk a little, but I've never been drunk. It's just like try this stuff. And that was like when I was of age. And I'm a virgin. So. I guess this video can be mainly teenagers, even older people who's like thinking they need to go out there and do it, being pressured. It's no big deal at all. People's gonna call you names or whatever, but you know, it's all about yourself. If you're not ready, you're not ready and stuff. People think it's crazy that I'm 22 years old, living on my own, and not a virgin, but not to try to talk to honor people or nothing, because everyone lives their life, but a lot of people try to say it's like people who's kind of miserable have 20 kids by 50 different um, men don't know who the father is you know if you do the math or whatever and just lost in life and stuff I'd rather find myself in life before I create a life so just want to wrap this video up share love spread love as always see you guys I'm going back home see my family first time since like Thanksgiving celebrate my Little nephew's birthday is on 420, as well as Easter is on 420, as well as 420 is on 420, so I guess 420 is going to be a big day. Even though I'm not a smoker, I mean smokers are some of the coolest people, so I'm probably going to be around this. It's no big deal to me. Easter, it's the holiday. I'm not a Christian, but you know, it's going to be fun having an Easter egg, huh? Celebrating my, my little nephew's fifth birthday. This little big head dude is turning five years old, and like that's special to me. Someone being in this world for five years and can look up to their uncle or look up to someone else. So happy birthday, little big head Amari! Even though I know you're not gonna see this, why not shout out? It's the weekend. You guys go out there and have fun. You know, don't do nothing and no one that you don't want to do just to please someone. And you know, share love, spread love. You know, it's all somewhere out there. Going to give love, so love you guys, and you know, peace. Enjoy the weekend for real. Live life to the fullest. Don't do nothing crazy, but you know, live life. You know, you don't gotta do some crazy stuff. Don't do it for the vine, do it for yourself. You know, live life, love it. See you guys, you know, I'm gonna enjoy my weekend. All right, peace.